Hey everyone, Aninda here and on this video I'll be showing you how to flash the stock ROM on your Motorola G3 which is the 2015 variant. So I'll be showing you how to even uh, lock your bootloader if you have unlocked it for, uh, due to you need to root your phone or to install custom ROM. Okay, so uh, this is my phone as you can see, wait let me just focus, it says the device is unlocked, status code is 6. Okay, so I'll be showing you how to lock your bootloader once again and and install the stock ROM, right? So let's begin. So first things first guys, if you are not familiar with how to flash the stock ROM with fast boot, so don't proceed, okay? I repeat, if you are not familiar and if you are not comfortable with fast boot flashing guide, don't proceed as it might break your phone, okay? I repeat it it might break your phone if you do it uh, something wrong or if you don't follow the steps perfectly right we need to download the stock ROM uh, of your uh, Moto G3 so I am using the Indian version which is the model number XT1550 and the variant is 2 gigabyte variant so I'll be putting a link on the video description from where you can download all the Moto G3 variants uh, firmware okay and you need to select your firmware based on your model number so just go to your about phone menu and there you will see the exact model number for your device so you need to download that variant only and if you are using a 1 GB variant so you need to download that specific model numbers 1 GB variant not the 2 gigabyte variant okay just keep in mind so once you download that ROM, you need to place it on your uh, desktop. So this is the ROM and uh, you need to download one more thing which is Motorola USB drivers. So I'll, I'll put the USB drivers in the video description from where you need to download the video drive, I mean the USB drivers. Also you need to download the zip of fastboot so just download that fastboot zip and extract it you will get some fastboot files and after that you need to extract the firmware file this is the firmware file I already told you this one so if, if you have any WinRAR application if you have WinRAR application with uh, yeah these are the some of the files of the firmware so just you need to select this option extract and you need to extract these files onto your fastboot folder so this is my fastboot folder I have created a fastboot folder over here uh, once uh, suppose you downloaded the fastboot zip and you need to extract it in a specific folder so I have extracted on this folder and after that you need to extract the firmware files all the firmware files on the fastboot folder itself okay so on this folder we have all the fastboot files and also the all the firmware files so now we will uh, now we will turn off the phone and, and we'll okay let me just show you how to get this uh, bootloader mode okay we'll just wait I'll just power off my phone okay now I've already powered off my phone I will show you how to go to the fastboot mode so volume down so volume press and hold volume down and power just hold it like this and you will get this fastboot mode now we need to connect a USB cable so I connected a USB cable once you connect the USB cable and you should be on this fastboot folder press shift yes shift button on your windows platform shift plus right click and you will get an option called open command window here so it will open up this command window so it will open up this command window and over here we need to type fast boot space devices and once we hit enter you will see some number over here this this number is, uh, denotes that your phone is connected right now if you want to now if you want to relock the bootloader we need to follow a specific command for that we need to write 
fast boot space o e m lock begin and we'll hit enter and here it says please fully flash the signed build before locking the phone okay now we'll flash the signed build so for signed build there are lots of commands for uh, you need to flash the uh, this uh, stock rom so i will post a image okay i will post a jpeg file image just download that jpeg file from the video description there you will see all the commands which are required and if we need to flash it serial in serial order from first to last okay so i will uh, now i'll write some code over here you need, we need uh, I'll, and i will post a picture just download that picture and you will just serially make uh, flash each and every file which is there on the picture okay so i will flash start flashing fast boot space space flash space partition space g p t dot bin we'll hit enter okay next file next file is flash boot loader space boot loader dot i m g hit enter okay next is until just okay now logo space logo dot bin next into flash boot space boot dot img enter done next we'll flash the recovery flash recovery space recovery dot img done next we will flash wait okay next we will flash system s y s t e m system system dot i m g underscore s p a r sparse chunk dot zero and we'll hit enter just need to wait a few seconds as this sparse chunk files are little larger than the previous ones it's a writing system right now as you can see see these are the files you can see over here right sparse chunk so we need to flash those things so next is sparse chunks dot one hit enter Okay, next we'll flash sparse chunk two. Enter. Done. Next we'll flash sparse chunk three. Hit enter. writing 
just need to wait okay now I'll flash past chunk 4 so writing Okay, now we'll flash response chunk 5. So these are some of the system files. Next we'll flash the modem. It's writing system. Okay, now we'll flash modem. It's modem space non dash H L O S dot bin. Hit enter. Next, we will fast boot space erase modem st1 finished. Next, we'll do for the second st2. It's done. We'll fast boot space flash f s g space f s g dot m b n fast boot space erase space cache hit enter then we'll write erase user data enter Okay, and last but not the least, we'll write, we'll now lock the bootloader. Fast boot, O E M space lock, enter. Now we are locking the bootloader. And it says, wait, as you can see, says phone is locked successfully and let me just show you one thing over here it says device is locked right and last but not the least we will write fast boot space reboot hit enter and it will reboot our phone so guys after locking the bootloader and reboot you will see that still you will get that bootloader is unlocked that picture is showing that Motorola when widescreen bootloader is unlocked so there is a trick okay and the 
trick is we need to flash a modified logo.bin which is this file I will uh, put the file on the video description so we need to once again so currently my phone is uh, is turned off we'll need to turn it off or turn it on once again so I've turned it on and I just now locked my bootloader see as you can see it says the device is locked okay as I just flashed the stock ROM and locked the bootloader but once I uh, restart my phone you will see that ugly that bootloader is unlocked that logo so for that we need to flash this logo.bin file this is a modified logo.bin so I've connected my phone via USB cable I'll hit shift and right click we'll open command prompt here and over here over here we'll write fast boot space devices it shows the phone and guys before flashing this modified logo.bin make sure all the firmware files all the stock ROM firmware files are deleted from this fastboot folder except for this fastboot.exe, adb.exe, adb win api, adb win usb api, adb and fastboot these six files should be there okay rest all the files should be deleted all the stock rom files should be deleted and then we need to paste this logo.bin on this folder and we'll uh, flash this logo.bin flash the modified logo for that we'll use the code fastboot space flash space logo space logo dot bin and uh, it will flash this modified logo dot bin file which is kept on which is there on this folder so we'll hit enter as you can see it says finished okay and we'll write as boot reboot and we'll hit enter now you can see that that ugly uh, bootloader unlocked picture is not showing so that's how you fully stock the flash rom un unlock the bootloader and get rid of that ugly uh, bootloader unlocked logo so that's it for this video guys if you like this video then hit the like button and thanks for watching and if you're not subscribed to my channel then please do that it will help me a lot so thank you for watching this video this is on in though take care